Hello gorgeous, welcome back to my channel and in this one, you may have guessed already, I'm going to be covering some of my favourite gift ideas, products and items that I use to help me on my weight loss and in the gym and that you could possibly give as gifts or you could ask for or just get for yourself a little gift for you because those are good gifts too and jingling is happening because antlers look a bit high for the camera here. I need to do a disclaimer first. This is a list of suggestions and be very careful before you give anything on this list to somebody for Christmas because what you don't want to do is say hey fatty I got you this. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? You could get into an awful lot of trouble if you give some of these gifts as gifts. Um, have a look at Legion of Weirdos latest video about giving a peloton for Christmas and all of the social media furore that has erupted as the result of giving somebody an exercise bike for Christmas. So okay let's get straight into it. So first off one of my favourite favourite favorite things as um, and as weight loss and as anything else I love data I love to be able to measure my, my my progress and the trouble with weight loss is while weight the or the total weight is quite a good measure of weight especially initially it certainly doesn't tell the whole story there's a lot of things you know fat percentage and muscle percentage you can be really really you know overweight with fat and have no muscle but still be underweight in total so you know the percentages do matter and so a really good good weighing scale like the Fitbit Aria or like the Withings scale which I think went into Nokia and is now back with Withings gives you a much better picture of your body mass. Now then be very careful here because some of the cheaper scales that claim to give you body mass measurements are bunkum. They just give you a base BMI based on your age and weight and they give you an average which you could look up off a spreadsheet on the internet. They aren't measuring anything it's an average person lookup table. I'm not talking about those cheap scales that claim to give you body measurements. I'm talking about the actual ones that have quite expensive sensors in them which are basically medical grade tools here which will give you, you know, your muscle mass level, your fluid mass, they're quite expensive. Uh, but I highly recommend a very accurate weight loss scale which will just help you measure your progress. Is an ideal way to get started here. Links to those below. Right, following up from a smart scale, a smart watch. This is the Polar Vantage V. I love the Polar. It's an excellent wristwatch, heart rate monitor. It also has built-in programs. You can GPS and all sorts in there. And I tend to use this more than I use my Apple Watch. Although I have an Apple Watch too, which is a great all-round watch. I find this is a little lighter. It's, it's tuned just for you know um, training and weight loss. So it's it's um it's more focused for the task at hand. That being said, as much as I like the Vantage, it's really only useful if you're really into training, if you're, you're setting plans and goals for yourself. Uh, a generic smartwatch like an Apple Watch or even some of the Android watches will do the job just fine here as well. So it's basically a smartwatch that can help you track your fitness goals, even if it's something as simple as a Fitbit or something, which can help you just measure your steps. Although a mobile phone can do that too. I'm saying a smart watch, but any smart device that can help you through the day, help you with your calorie tracking, help you with your steps and workout tracking. It's really good for making sure that you're on track. Next up, and this is super important for me and probably for everybody else, a great pair of earbuds for the gym. Power Beats, Power Beats Pro. Oh, there's, there's so many of them. Power Beats 3s are my favourites and closely followed by these new Power Beats Pros. They're, oh, they're, they're absolutely wonderful. They sound great. They're, they're amazing. Uh, as much as I like the AirPods, and non-sport wear ones. Be very careful of their waterproofness and also honestly these these fall out. They're not bad for around the office and for walking and things but once you start jumping around they, they, they don't stay in very well. <laughs> okay and some other ones like if you take the pros for example they have those little hoops that go over your back of the ear. These don't come out. These are these are amazing. I've, I've, I've done all I've done, I can do Tabata and all sorts in these. I can be jumping around like a lunatic. They stay put. So for gym wear I would certainly choose a pair of headphones that have those hooks on the back or a neck cord like the Powerbeat 3s or the Jaybirds or whatever. I've done a few reviews on different earbuds. I'm doing a new one soon of all the latest crop of headphones on the market. Okay so on the cheaper end of the market how about something like 
this, the portion plate. This is a cracking little idea. The portion plate basically just shows you your protein, your carbohydrates and your fats and it helps you to see how much of a portion you're using. Now there is a catch with these. They assume you are following a diet which uses this fairly standard model of your balanced diet. There is some disagreement as to whether these are actually what you should be following but if you are then a portion plate that measures that out for you that's kind of useful actually and very visual idea of the kind of things you're eating so I don't use a portion plate anymore but for a little while especially after bariatric surgery I wanted to be sure that my protein levels were, were bang on because after bariatric surgery your protein levels are more important than anything else well making sure you get enough so a portion plate cheap as chips and also well worth looking at and finally on my list of gift ideas for people who want to lose weight the Tefal OptiGrill. Man oh man oh man if there was a gadget that I used more than any other gadget it's the Tefal OptiGrill. I love this thing. I live on my own so cooking for me is generally a chore. This thing makes it a snap. I've just bought the Tefal OptiGrill Elite a couple of weeks ago. It's terrific. It's basically based on the you know the the grill concept. You've seen things like the Breville and the George Ford and grills it's basically a, a smart <laughs> smart here we go a smart version of that where it'll automatically measure the thickness of the food and you put a setting on the front to say the kind of food you're cooking on it and it gives you the perfect cooking time for you wanted rare or medium rare or well done or your veggies or whatever you're putting on there it will cook to the perfect temperature and perfect time just for you. I'll be honest, okay, it's probably not as good as an individual on a barbecue grill who's got some practice and is doing this all the time, but man, it's close. I've made some really good rare steak on these for myself. I've just seared the edges. It gets super, super hot and the new one gets even hotter, the Elite. So a Tefal OptiGrill, super, super good for getting your cooking easy, especially if you're on a protein laden diet or your protein is, you know, an important macro for you to measure. Love, love, love the Tefal OptiGrill. Remember the video I did a couple of weeks ago about the um, Beyond Burger and the Impossible Burger? The Tefal OptiGrill cooks those to it like a champ. And that is it. That is it for my list of most useful weight loss gadget Christmas gift ideas. I must reiterate, do not rock up to somebody on Christmas Day with a, are oh, you looking like you could do losing a few pounds, here's some new daps and a watch. Off you go. <laughs> don't do that unless you don't want to be in a relationship for long. I guess this shouldn't need saying, but I'm saying it anyway, okay? So keep that in mind. And that is it for this one. I hope you found that useful. What do you think? Have you got any great gift ideas for Christmas? Maybe that hair up in the last video. Maybe that's the sort of thing that you want to get somebody. They're, they're quite good, but just don't believe the hype. As always, like, share, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Leave the comments below. If you don't like, if you didn't like it, it's all good. All feedback is very, very welcome. Popping up over there is the last show I put out. And below that is the one YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching. I shall see you in the very next show. Bye-bye.